Yes, so what we found with this fossil, we were able to put in this fossil in a molecular phylogeny of all pergidae, so all sawflies. And what we found is that they had an ancestor that was widespread. And that's puzzling because the continents are separated right now. But because we dated the origin of this family to about 100 million years ago, we were able to infer that the uh, spread ancestor was found in a supercontinent that existed at the time called Gondwana, and that later the supercontinent was separated through continental drift, and there were separate groups in South America and Australia. But then the most interesting part is that later in the evolution of the group, there were separate migrations, probably through Antarctica, that led to different lineages being present in South America and in Australia, um, kind of mixed up throughout the phylogeny. Okay, so we know now that uh, McGrath's flat was deposited in an uh, oxbow lake and that the oxbow lake was close to a flowing river and still had some connection to this river because we found insects, aquatic insects in that lake that would normally not exist in still water, so that like fast flowing oxygen rich waters. So and we also know that um, the lake was surrounded by um, lush vegetation and we think that we had a pocket of rainforest around that oxbow lake and along the river but that there was drier vegetation and drier ecosystems around so this was basically a remnant of a once larger rainforest 